Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the NBA spreadsheet tool uh, lineup optimizer. So when you uh, get the tool it's going to have all the tabs down here at the bottom and you're going to start off at the main tab. And first thing you want to do when you get the, the tool is to put your login in. If you just had bought, bought the tool you probably won't have your login for within maybe 12 hours or so. So, But you can use the temporary login that's in there. Uh, what do you do once you get your login? You put it in here, your, your username, your password, and you can um, press refresh logins, and then you should be set. You, you, don't, you won't ever have to do that again unless you get a new login. So what you're going to do is here's displays all the current day's data on the main tab, and if you scroll down, here's all the stats. So always at the beginning of the day, you want to scroll over to here and click uh, refresh today's data. So you press that, and it would upload today's data, all the games and all the player stats. And it takes 30 seconds to a minute, depending on the speed of your computer. So then once you do that, I already did that for, for the, um, the next day's games. It's going to have all the, the games here with like the spreads, the implied totals, and so on. And if you scroll down down below, you're going to get all the uh, player information. with uh, like Here's all the FanDuel, the DraftKings, um, with our projections, your projections. And different uh, different stats. Uh, let's see, defense versus position, ceiling, uh, different 2018 and 2017 stats. And I try to add more on as as we, um, the season goes along. So what you're gonna do when you're ready to play a game, you want to see decide which games you want to include. If you're playing the full slate, you're gonna include yes. If you just want to play, say, the late games, you're gonna drop these down to no and just the yes next to the ones that you want to play. Click transfer players and it's going to take you over to our lineup optimizer tab so here's the multi lineups and this is where you are going to generate your lineups it has all the most important stats that you're going to need you got our projections your projections and uh, fantasy points per game so before I actually run the lineups I'm going to show you how to get your projections so our projections are just um, my projections based on different formulas and uh, projected minutes and all and all that so you can run lineups see over here on your projections based on ours yours or the average the average is just 2018 points per game average to get your projections you can go over to this your projections tab and this is where you put in your you, all you're doing is copy and paste in the players and the projection from some other website so say I'm just gonna copy a couple players from here but you could get it from, say, Number Fire, Roto uh, Grinders, anywhere where you might have, where they might have projections. And say, there's the projections. It's just very, very simple uh, projections here. It's going to be in here. You're just going to click Add st Projections to the Stats tab. And then if you scroll down here, see now your projections are, are right over here so they just get uploaded real quickly and then you could do that I mean I only put four people on your projections but you could copy like the whole slate of players if you could get projections from somewhere else you just upload it here then you gotta transfer your players again depends so we know which lineups and then there you go so now you got your projections obviously you're not gonna run it on just these four projections but that's just to show you how how it's done so when you're ready to run lineups you get to choose which one you want to do it on, ours, yours, or average. I'm going to do it on ours. You can, how many lineups you want to do it on. You can do, if you don't only want a few, you can have 10, 25, 75, or 150. I'm just going to click 75 for now. Uh, the minimum salary. If you want to have a minimum salary, you don't have to have that, or you can put it really low. For draft, I'm going to run some DraftKings lineups. The, the maximum is 50,000, so I'm going to put 47,000, so it's just somewhere in that span. I'm going to click DraftKings. And it should take about 10 seconds to uh, run all the lineups. There. So now it takes you to the your lineup sheet. And it's going to have all the lineups. So here's the highest projected one based on projected points and salary. And it's going to go all the way down. And if you scroll down, it's just going to keep going all the way down to, to your 75 lineups. You c it's also the same information here on the your lineups tab. So it's just all the players here. And then when you're all set, you go back to your lineup sheet. And if you want to upload this to get a CSV file, 
you just hit which slate are you playing in you can do the drop down and it'll have draft DraftKings Monday 730 we're going to put export lineup to CSV there and it just created a, a CSV file for you with all the user IDs for the for that game so now all you have to do is go into DraftKings, upload the CSV file, and you got your got your lineups. Same thing goes for if you wanted to do FanDuel. FanDuel will do this, the exact same thing. Your lineups will show up on your lineup sheet or, and your lineups. When you're ready, you click Export Lineups. Just make sure this is this is changed to FanDuel, and then it'll spit out CSV files, and you can upload them and be all ready. So that's our tool. I hope you um, join us, and if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Thanks.